Hello everyone, welcome to the Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Alright, so I'm going to do an egg harvest. Um, look, I, I really don't want to bother Tatai. I'm going to have to. He's going to, someone has to help me on this long net because there's just no way that, uh, that, that I can do that big of a net. Well, you know what, maybe. Maybe there would be a way. I'll try. But I really don't want to bother Tata. He's got his own projects to do, and I want... My goal has always been to set this up to where one person can do this. Uh, even even Maricel, uh, where even a woman could do this. And I've been, you know, slowly making adjustments uh, to make that happen. So, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to at least check these, the females in these four boxes. Pretty sure I can do this by myself. I'm going to, I'm not set up yet, but I'm going to. This big one here, I don't know. We will see. I'm going to, I'm going to get a pole. Well, you'll see how my idea to do that one. Uh, hopefully, it won't be so noisy from the dogs down in the kennel. Uh, those females down there aren't real happy about life at the moment. I did bring my tripod, but I just don't know where I would set it. Um, and you know, when I was working on these tanks the other day, and I just set the I just set the camera down on the edge there, and it seemed to work okay. The thing is, is that I can't check, I can't look in the viewfinder to see what I'm videoing, if it, even if it's in focus or if it's recording or, or anything. So uh, it's kind of a shot in the dark every time I make a video. But I'm going to try to do this um, by myself, and you guys will be along for the ride. All right, so I've got this small bucket here. That's what I'm going to put the eggs in. Uh, the whole thing is, is just being stable enough. Uh, obviously, I'm going to need some kind of a work platform, work table, something for this. Anyway, this is, if I find a female that has eggs, I'm going to rinse them out into this bucket. And as I gather this net uh, and uh, take the females out to check them, oh great, now we got a chainsaw in the background. Um, as I check the females, look, either, either, either they have eggs and I rinse them out here, I'm going to put them in this bucket. And if they don't have eggs, they're going to be put in this bucket. And when I get them all done, then I'm going to set the, the net back in and then just dump them uh, back in here. So uh, that's the way I'm going to do it. So I'm going to set this here. Whether or not you're going to be able to hear me over the chainsaw, who knows. They're right across the street, so they're pretty close. Can't even hold her by her mouth. No eggs anyway. This is a fairly small female here. And she has no eggs. Almost done guys. Hang in there.
Yeah, I gotta tell you, uh, thumbing them is the best way, but it's it's not easy with these fish. They don't have their mouths aren't that large, and they still fight, even though you've got them like even though you're holding them like that. Usually a mouth, a bass or a crappie or something like that. Uh, once you're holding them by their mouth and holding their mouth open, they'll just, kind of like picking a cat up by its neck, they'll just sit there and behave. Uh, these guys here, not so much. No eggs in her. Last one. I can just about tell by the way she's holding her mouth partially open that she doesn't have any eggs. She doesn't have any eggs, so I'm just going to set this nut back in. So none of these girls had any. The amount of the time this has taken me, this will be an hour long video, so I'm going to uh, end it up here and just uh, let you know how things went. Alright, so I did these first two boxes myself, and uh, None of the females had any eggs. If they had had eggs, I would have had a problem because how do I keep the fish in the net and wash the eggs into the bucket? Both. So, Tatai was, I, I called Tatai to help me with those last two boxes, and he did. And again, no eggs. So, no eggs in any of these boxes and so now we're going to do uh, this long tank here I, I want to do it a little bit different this time maybe we will use this piece of metal because look uh, you know I hear Mike's idea about thumbing them holding them by their bottom jaw uh, look, these aren't large mouth bass. They're too hard to hold. They're too strong. Uh, there's not enough area on their bottom jaw to hold them. And uh, really holding them tight damages their jaw. Uh, I had uh, one with a big bruise on its lower jaw. So you, you can't do it that way. You cannot do these fish that way. So the other option is to Use two hands and try your best not to get poked uh, because look thumbing them there wasn't a single one that I thumbed and I thumbed all those in those first two boxes there wasn't a single one that I felt like I had a good enough grip on to where I would feel comfortable holding it and washing her around in the in the water bucket to wash the eggs out not a single one I'm sure I would have lost it so, the only option is that I can see so far, look, we used that small net, that little hand net, to uh, fish them out of the net. Well, basically what we were doing is one guy, one guy holds the net, and the other guy uses the, the hand net there and dips them out one at a time, and that way you can hold their mouth open and check them. That seemed to work. The easiest and the best so that's what we're going to do moving forward here and um, I was kind of disappointed that we didn't get any out of those first four boxes there hopefully we'll get some out of these all right so the idea the idea that I had was to use this this iron pipe here and just 
run it along here and corral all the fish down to this end. Has worked so far. Uh, one tried to escape and get back and get back to home, but didn't quite make it yet. So I'm going to dip them out with that small net and uh, check them. And as I check them, I'm going to put them back in here. You want to stand there, Tatai? All right. I'm going to put this. Oh, okay. I'm going to put this net down, or camera down, and we'll, we'll get with it. Alright, she has a lot of eggs. And I didn't get this last time. So, I want to get it this time. Her mouth is just full of eggs. So, uh, what I'm going to do is hold her by hand and swirl her around in that bucket and get the eggs out. Alright, well there they are. Uh, there were three females that had eggs. So... We, kind of, we, we didn't get all of them out of the second female because she started flopping around here and um, you know I one finger at a time I got as many of her eggs as, we, as I could off the ground. Um, not an optimal situation but uh, you probably got something in the neighborhood of four or five hundred eggs here. And this tumbler seems to be doing really well. I can say that it will have to be, uh, I will have to try to make one of these and just cut the very bottom of it out and uh, put it farther down into the tank because they're not, they're not falling out of the airstream before they get to the top. Still a lot of action going on here at the top. I'm going to slowly crimp this airline to see if I can calm that down enough to where they'll stop coming to the surface all the way. Now well, that's pretty much that's pinching it off all the way right there. You can see that's a it's a lot of eggs. And it's looking like I slowly let more air back in. Yeah, um, it's so far with this bottle anyway, there's no way that I'm going to be able to uh, make an escape for them because if I filled it up, all, if I if I was running the pump water into this so that there's a little waterfall here, it would just eventually wash all the eggs out. Um, I ordered the the little uh, regulators. They just hook on the line and you, you thumb them like that and it makes less, more uh, or less air. Uh, I'm thinking that's a little bit too much air. I think that's a little bit too violent of an action there, right in the center, even still, even with that sand. Because uh, to me, it just look, it looks like it's rocketing them up. So I am going to crimp this a little bit more, and uh, we're good to go. I'm going to put a couple drops of this uh, methyl, oh, I can't remember, um, methylene blue, I don't know if I can find it. Now where did it go? Oh, it's right here next to the tank. Uh, I'm going to put a couple drops of this just in the tumbler to keep these eggs uh, fungus free. Maybe one more drop. That's three drops only. And you can see it's uh, water's pretty blue but I'm thinking one more two more I think that's fine right there so 48 hours and we'll see what we get I am going to crimp this down a little bit I'm actually going to uh, make this so it's a little more straight up and down as well 
I didn't cut my holes just exactly right. So I've got to, for it to be just right, I've got to raise up this far end. So I'm going to turn the air down a little bit and uh, fix it like I like it. Wish us luck. There's probably five, six hundred eggs in there. Uh, hoping for a good hatch. These guys over here, they continue to love life and are doing very well. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.